Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're at Red Star Raceway and I want to talk to you about naked bikes. Now, I don't know if you remember about 10 years ago or so, manufacturers would build a brilliant super bike, absolutely phenomenal. Then what they would do is build an alternative model where they took the fairings off to make it a naked bike, but then they would take the motor and do what they call retune it. And what that basically means is they just take out all the passion, all the anger, all the fury, and everything that made that motor great and put it back in the bike. And all you had was this bike that they say is better for naked riding, but it was just dull, absolutely dull. It's like they didn't actually know what people wanted. Thankfully, right now, I think those days are over. And of course we have to thank the Italians, these Italians, Ducati. And the bike they're ending the Naked Soul Purge with is this, the new Street Fighter V4S. And look at it, that LED robotic fury glaring at you, those golden Olin's fork legs, those bulging shoulders, those wings spiking out, pushing downwards with nearly the same torque as a Monster 821. And then there's the motor, the MotoGP inspired 1103cc, V4 motor, pushing an earth-shattering 208 horsepower. 208 horsepower <laughs> in a naked bike. This I've got to see. Now, climbing on this the first time, the first thing you notice is that the previous Street Fighter, and the, that the previous Street Fighters that Ducati had, were very kind of bent down. The, the bars were low, foot pegs high, very much a racer position. This is not like that. It's basically, it's called a Street Fighter, but it's a naked bike. The bars are high, foot pegs are low. I'm comfy. The motor revs. Watch this. I'm going to come out in second. Close visor. Accelerate. Now we get to the point where my ears are saying, change gear. I look down. We're only halfway. This thing revs to 14 and a half thousand RPM. 14 and a half in a naked bike. You get to about 11, your ears start bleeding. Bits of brain come out of your ears. And you think, I need to change gear. You look down, you've still got 3,500 RPM to go. <laughs> That's a lot of revs. Oh, listen to that. Listen. That's a MotoGP bike sound. That's what it is. V4 blessed, high revving. Oh, man. The motor is high revving, but compared to the Panigale, torque has been moved further down the rev range to make it slightly better on public roads. Not that you would notice while screaming it around a racetrack. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of, that's a lot of forwardness. Forwardness, forwardness is happening in vast amounts. There's quantities of forwardness. And now there's quantities of lean angle. Lean. And of course, there's more than just a motor. Ducati have been good enough to supply a chassis too, and a good one at it. In fact, the chassis is pretty much a Panigale superbike in a bathing suit. Oh, this feels like a Ducati. Like a naked bike, the handling is so, so light, it's like nothing. Just there, flick it this way, flick it this way, and you're over on your side. And now it's got Olin suspension, sorting out all the bumps and ripples. Olin semi-active suspension, and then you open the throttle again. <laughs> In a strange act of witchcraft, the Street Fighter is able to be both light of steering and stable at heavy lean, a magic trick that previously eluded bike manufacturers. It was able to lean so low that at stages, the foot pegs decked on the ground. Hard on the brakes, feel those Brembos come to a stop. It's a great feel into the corner. How did this happen? First gear accelerates. Front wheel up. Whoa! <laughs> we don't really harp on about electronics these days because bikes like this naturally have all of them. And the famous electronics package has been taken directly off the Panigale, including the TFT dash. And of course, Oh, that quick shifted down. Oh. 
Ducati is a racing company. Everything they do is racing. They eat racing, sleep racing, and that's the whole company, including Joe the janitor and Stacy and Admin. Where other companies concentrate on making their bikes pleasurable and easy to ride, Ducati is interested only in lap times. And as far as the new Super Naked class is concerned, it would be difficult to bet against the Street Fighter. Actually, even against some of the top super bikes, it would be difficult to bet against the Street Fighter. I am Valentino Marquez, that's what I am right now. Valentino Marquez, Divizioso. Oh, <laughs> I'm in love. I'm in love with the Ducati again. Ducati must stop doing this. I have to break the heart of the Panigale now and say, sorry Panigale, I know I said you'd be mine forever, but I fell in love with the Street Fighter. It's my baby now. Well, 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 I simply cannot believe it. Donovan Faree, the man whose whole life has been about a passion for superbikes is actually saying, can it be true, Don, that you'd rather have a naked bike? Would you really give up a Panigale for the sake of a Panigale without a fairing? Do you know, I'm, 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 I've reached that stage in my life where I've sort of gone, oh my goodness me, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm growing up. I'm like becoming an adult. This is like the first time in my life I actually feel like <laughs> I might be an adult. Hard to believe I know. But yeah, because, okay, the Panigale is all about, you know, fast lap times and breaking lap records and winning races. But I think, you know, I think, Matt, you're pretty much in the same boat as me. We've done all that. You know what I mean? We've done the whole, we've won races before. We've broken lap records. We've done dices for races. And now it's like, oh, don't really want to do that anymore. I just want to have fun. And the thing about the Street Fighter, it has pretty much all, well, almost all of the performance of a Panigale, but in kind of a fun setup, you know what I mean? Without all the aches and pains and backache and all that kind of stuff. It's just, to put a South African word to it, a jaw. Uh, naked bikes are about having fun. You know, I've known Don for many, many years now, and he's always been a big fan of huge V-twins, we both have. Uh, and his favorite naked bike ever since it came out has been KTM Super Duke R. He tested it on the track fairly recently. If you watch next week's show, I've actually got it up in the Alps riding it on the road. Uh, Don, KTM Super Duke R or V4 Street Fighter? And do not say before you start, do not say one for the track and one for the road because that's a cop out. You're asking me to choose between children here. It's like I've got to murder one of my own kids. You know what I mean? It's, this is so unfair, you know? <laughs> um, uh, okay, if I were going to set lap times and try and be as fast as possible, I think the Street Fighter. If I wanted to just giggle and have an absolute, well, even more of a jaw, I, I suspect the Super Duke. It won't do the same lap time as the Street Fighter, but I do think it'll be more of a giggle. Uh, we're going to have to test that, I think. Oh, there you go. Another excuse to ride too, if you favorite. Wait, wait, wait. Riding it down. Planet. Riding well it down. Well done. Uh, tell me. There we go. Making a note. <laughs> what are we looking at in terms of price for the V4 Street Fighter? Okay, the, the space model is 292 which you put it up against. For what it is, you put it up against all the other naked bikes. That's not really not bad. The S model, which is the one we were riding at Red Star, is 342 which is, okay, it's a lot of money. It's, 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 Rough, it's 13 grand more than a ZH2, the, the supercharged bike, which up until now was the most expensive, excluding like MV Augusta and all those sort of things. Um, but I mean, for what you're getting as a technological package and all everything that goes into it, it's, it's actually not bad at all. It's not a bad price at all. Well, there you go. Uh, when a bike is so good that 340, 350 grand is uh, not bad at all, then you know Don has fallen well and truly in love. And uh, much as I would like to take the mick, uh, I have to say that's pretty much as good a recommendation for a bike as you could possibly get. Okay, we're gonna take a short break now. When we come back, Don and I will be talking about news in general. And of course, the big news at the moment in South Africa and Motor Grand Prix is Brad Binder's win for KTM. See you in a second.